we are talking about Climate Week New York City. And I want to bring in Dr. Jason Box, who is a contributor to this report. Come on in, Dr. Box. And your expertise is in ice cover and snow cover. So let's talk about that because we say, you know, the report says 95 percent uh, certain that humans are causing global warming or climate change, I should say. But we're 100 percent sure that the ice is melting. Yeah. The snow and ice are really reacting to this enhanced greenhouse effect. And it's a very sensitive environment. It's because the ice is so reflective that when it goes away, just small changes in, in the snow extent and sea ice extent amplify. And that's why it's a great place to see climate change in action. Let's talk about that reflection albedo is the scientific uh, word that we use. What is going to happen when we lose all of that reflection, all of that high albedo yeah. off the snow and the ice? Yeah, especially during the summer, you have 24 hours sunlight in the Arctic. And with that reflective cover gone, it's really just reinforcing the warming. And it makes it harder for that warming to go away. So what is causing all of the melting? It's really an, an enhanced greenhouse effect. Greenhouse effect is natural, but we've added more layers to the blanket that keeps our planet warmer. And and so we see larger changes in the, in the snow covered areas, uh, snow cover on land, also sea ice, and, and the Greenland ice sheet is reacting as well. It's that whole system is reflecting um, this perturbation that, that our climate system is undergoing as we speak. Is there any way to build that back to get the snow back, to get the ice back? Fortunately, the, the albedo feedback operates in reverse. So if you have a cold summer, um, that allows the snow patches to survive a little bit longer. And, and so it does work in reverse, but to really to rebuild the, the ice cover, the volume of sea ice, the, the thickness and, and the, what's been lost on Greenland would take a prolonged period of cold. Not to mention all the animals that are affected and could go extinct. Yeah, it's very important to maintain some sea ice as a platform for the marine mammals to uh, go through their life cycles. They need a minimum amount of, of sea ice cover. How much is this really making the water rise up? because you think it's going to be more than what the report is saying. That's right. Even today, the IPCC chairman stated that there isn't agreement among the science community about the uh, possibility of extremely high sea level rise. I look at what the report comes out with as kind of the middle of the road estimate. I think it must be too low because the models that are using, uh, being used to project sea level rise, they actually don't yet include all of the sensitivity factors that we're aware of. And so I think the, the true Why situation, don't they? It's, it's hard to articulate these processes in, in models uh, because, frankly, we don't understand all of the physics of land ice response to, to warming. For example, the, the softening effect of warming on, on the Greenland ice sheet, that's not included in the models, nor is um, this process we call hydrofracture, where uh, meltwater um, forces apart bonds and, and, and so, um, the models do not yet articulate all of the sensitivities. And so I'm thinking sea level rise is probably going to be significantly higher than what's been mentioned in this report. Any number or you just think higher? You know, it's so sensitive and tiny changes in, in the estimate. And it's because it's not linear. Right. And, and so I was playing with these numbers yesterday and getting some really surprising outcomes, um, whether I consider a 10 year doubling time or a nine year doubling time. But Greenland in the last uh, 10 years has, has doubled its rate of loss. If you push that forward, um, that produces one and a half meters of sea level just from Greenland. And that, that's already at the high end. Yeah. And, you know, we only have a couple seconds left, but you're, you were from Colorado. Mm -hmm. Your family was affected by these right. floods. Yeah, my friend's place got flooded. Um, it, you know, it just felt more real. And the prolonged nature of that event um, is part of a pattern of climate change. Yeah, well, all right. Thank you so much. And we hope that they recover quickly. Yeah. I appreciate that.